welcome to another video. Uh, sorry it's been a while again. Um, but today I want to show you some real life redstone as it were. Um, this is essentially uh, just a little game I created using uh, this is a breadboard uh, with two buttons and LEDs and also a piezo, uh, piezo spe speaker and also over here we have an Arduino and I'll talk more about this that later. Um, I just want to show you a demonstration. I only got this Arduino, well, I had this Arduino for quite a while, but I haven't really um, got around to playing with it until a couple of days ago. And so I thought, um, as I haven't done any videos for a while, and um, I kind of feel like I should, um, I decided to uh, show you one of these things I've created, because I'm just, I'm just going through loads of random little things and seeing what I can come up with. So essentially what this is is a blind maze so you have these LEDs tell you your, your direction they also tell you a few other things as well but if I press this button here this will change my direction so you see that it's just like cycling through every time you press the button so if I choose this direction here which is actually relative down but it may look like it's up for you for me it's down um, I can then move using this button. So I can move, you see, you see it blinked? That means that I've moved successfully. So I've moved, managed to move three times successfully, and now the fourth time they all flash. That means that there's a wall there. So I can't move in that direction, of course. So I already know this level, um, so I know where I'm going. So I'm, I'm moving now what I think is right, um, but it doesn't really matter. So again, I'll just move three times, and now I know that here's a wall, and I can now go up. And if you heard that sound, um, that means that I have um, reached my destination, my goal. So now I'm at the next level. Um, now this one I don't actually know, but I think think it's this way. So again I'm just going to press the buttons until I come to a wall and then I think I just go down actually and then it should be there. There you go. Um, but you can always try and find your way so uh, let's go down when you hit a wall like change direction a little bit. So this seems to be going quite well. Oh no hit a wall. I can't go down any further. I can't go that way any further. So I um, must have missed a turning. So we'll go back. We'll try going up. There you go. A wall. Um, left, no. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, that's the, um, the blind maze, as it were. I'll see if I can quickly show you the code. I'm not quite sure whether you can actually see that very well or not. No, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that you can't see that very well. So, hi. Um, essentially that's it. Now with the, that's the, essentially the game. Now with the Arduino, uh, if I can just bring it around here. So, yes. There are a lot of wires all over the place. Um, oh, I'm filming this on a Nexus, by the way. So, sorry if the quality isn't very good and the, like, the camera is at the side of the thing. So, looking at you is also very weird. So, I'm going to look at the screen so my eyes may not be focusing on you. But <sighs> So, this is the Arduino. Um, now, you'll see that I have hooked up um, these six, uh, seven pins even, here up here. So, these, these two blues and this red, hopefully you can see that, they are coming from, um, the, uh, buttons, I think. Yep, those are coming from the buttons. And also, they are powering the piezo speaker. And these orange ones are just controlling the LEDs. Now of course I could have used something like a shift register or a decade counter or 
something like that to handle the um, LEDs actually on the board. But as it's such a small project, I might as well just do it straight from the pins. Uh, so then, uh, lastly, you've got these uh, two um, pins used over here. This is just uh, 5 volts, which is um, or regularly, regularly, sorry, what you use often. Um, just 5 volts and the ground, so that the, uh, of course, the LEDs will work. With Without the ground, the LEDs won't work. Um, then with the code, um, sorry I can't really show you that very effectively, uh, but essentially it's packed together really. It's just, um, essentially you've got a three dimensional array for the levels. So the first dimension tells you what level you're in, and the second two uh, dimensions tell you the, uh, can give you the Y and the X, like grid so you have a, you have a grid and it, for my all my mazes it's six six by six so um, then you just have integers in that array um, so for zero y it's just six um, integers and then um, for each y you have another six integers and each of those integers of course represents an x value um, and so for places that you can move to so for example when I just tap the move button and it will just blink that's a zero but for when it uh, flashes, so like a wall that means that it's a uh, one and then the goal is represented as a two um, so it's quite simple really and then I've just got a few fancy things well, not really fancy but like just a few methods that will um, do either clear all the LEDs or um, light all the LEDs at once just to make it easier to do the flashing and that's essentially it um, yeah hope you enjoyed this video real life redstone on the Arduino see you